Good morning, Silver Knights. Today is Thursday, February 20th. I am Sydney Cox. And I am Sophia Medina with your Nightline News. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Mu Alpha Theta would like to recognize the accomplishment of its member, Christopher Sandino, with his performance in the Digits of Pi competition with his recollection of six, 1,618 digits. Congratulations once again to Christopher Sandino. There will be a meeting after school for the Masked and Furious team in Mr. Vega's room. Hope to see you all competing members. The second boys basketball tryouts will be on Thursday from 2.45 to 4 p.m. The Interact Club will be having a mandatory meeting on Friday, February 21st, after school in 1334. The club will be taking the yearbook photo, so please be prompt. Students who participated in the middle school SECME Olympiad and Science Fair on February 7th, you will be taking your yearbook photo this coming Monday, February 24th, after school. Please wear your SECME shirt. The next Bible Club meeting will be March 11th at 2.30 p.m. in room 1305. February is Black History Month. Every school day this month, we will share some more information about the contribution of African Americans in the U.S. history. Here is Tasia. I'm Tasia Palance with a moment in black history. Did you know? Today's HBCU highlight is to Bethune-Cookman College and alumni Mrs. Barnes. Bethune-Cookman University is a private liberal arts institution in Daytona Beach, Florida. It is an historically black college university with a strong foundation in the United Methodist Church. Bethune-Cookman University began in 1904 as the Daytona Educational and Industrial Training School for Negro Girls. Mary McLeod Bethune, who would eventually become a noted black educator, leader of African American club women in the and in the 1930s, a political appointee in the Franklin Roosevelt administration, began the school with only a dollar and fifty cents and five students. In 1941, the Florida State Department of Education approved Bethune Cookman's request for expanded liberal arts programs and educational programs, which allowed it to become a four-year college. This concludes a moment in black history. Thank you. The National Honor Society is participating in a project called Hope Tote. A Hope Tote is a purple plastic bag filled with basic items to help homeless citizens clean up and feel better about themselves. We are asking all JM Math students to help us fill 75 Hope Tote bags to donate to the Miami Rescue Mission. We need basic toiletry items like toothpaste, toothbrushes, soap, deodorant, shampoo, mouthwash, hairbrushes, shaving cream, socks, hand lotion, and hand sanitizer. As a reward for helping, we'll give out a free dress down pass. If you donate five items, you receive a free dress down pass on Friday, February 28th. You must bring your donations to Mrs. Cruz in the Media Center in order to qualify for your free dress down. Toiletries will be collected the entire month of February. Please help our homeless community fulfill their basic sanitary needs. Who likes Chipotle and helping out our school? The PTSA is ho hosting a Chipotle night for JMS on Wednesday, February 26. Come to Chipotle on 405 West 49th Street between 4 to 8 p.m. Mention our school and Chipotle will give back 33% of the proceeds to our school. Bring your family and friends and let's fill up the restaurant with our JMS family. This event takes place on Wednesday, February 26. The PTSA looks forward to having dinner with all of you. Are you struggling in your English class or just want to improve your reading and writing? Then come to English Tutoring in the Media Center on Wednesdays after school. NEHS members, some of the best students of English in the school, will help students of all levels in any grade to improve your English skills. See you Wednesday after school in the Media Center. Would you like to participate in the ultimate high school field trip? Would you like to see our nation's capital, the White House, the one and only Smithsonian Museum, and many other famous locations in Washington, D.C. that most of us have only seen on TV? Then don't miss out on this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to do so. 
spend five days in Washington, D.C. with access to more than 10 iconic locations and, oppor and the opportunity to meet high school students from all around the United States. Close Up has almost 50 years of experience hosting students and making this trip one to remember. So stop by Ms. Horgan's classroom, room 1215, to learn more about Close Up and all the amazing things you are going to be doing in Washington, D.C. after testing. Did you know you could pre-order your 2020 yearbook today for only $40? Visit yearbookforever.com to place your order online or see Ms. Morales in room 1123 to purchase your yearbook today. Come, Come dressed out of uniform this Friday, February 21st for only $2. Wristbands will be sold in the front of the school. Students, keep in mind that coming with your uniform pants and a JMMA t-shirt is still considered being out of uniform and you must pay $2. Consequences will be given if you are not in compliance. That's it for us today, Silver Knights. Have a great day.